Maybe he does want it low, man. That's so easy. Cage triggered. That. I wonder how he's going to play this. Because you'd have to play it from like over here in some capacity. So I'm guessing we're positioning more towards like a yellow round. This, we'll see. One way. I think that's $100 to huge. I've never seen anybody throw this. Not saying he invented it, but people don't throw this. Dude. And then he comes yellow. And then he comes yellow. He's not passive like you scaredy cat cypher players. Chihuahua's cooler than that. Chihuahua takes his first fight. Might be big on guys. And then uses his setup to get the second kill. Bet, 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 bet. bet. Surely one of them. After that whole spiel. Bet. 30 minutes. Breeze. Bet. 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 Bet, bet. Thank you, thank you, Chihuahua. And he plays with mini map uncovered. Bet. Backer check. Doesn't this guy play on us end? He's duo with Chronicle in this game. Here, is it just Chihuahua? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Let me get their tracker if I can. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Feels so good feels so good. The chat, they exist. They exist. They exist, chat. And he plays with minimap. Freaking G. What a G. This guy is streaming right now. We are going to raid this guy if he's still alive. I saw some of the follow. All right. Is this, is this fresh? No. Okay. Okay. We're playing with Redgar. Yeah, it's nice. We've got cage trip. We've got the unbreakable trip thingy here. Uh, let me boot up Breeze because it might be relevant where he places the KM and shit. And I'm gonna fact check that. If we all follow and watch, the average views will make them not eligible. One less person for the pool. Exactly. Exactly. I don't want another Chihuahua VOD next week. I want another guy. Because they all have unique shit. I will bet my... F I'll bet $100 to charity if anybody in chat wants to match this. That we will find unique Cypher Breeze tech in this VOD. Ooh. Ooh, I can see mid. Bet. I know this isn't new. I know this one's not new. Relax, chat. We'll be like, huge. I've seen that cam before. And was he having the trip tilt up a little bit? Nah, I think it's just like over here. You bring it over until it's like touching that, that bad boy, right? Okay, so I'll point this out. Uh, Riot made me take a survey recently where I scored Sheriff versus abilities versus armor and like what priority I put them in on my eco round on round two. And this aligns with exactly how I answered and it's what pros do. This might be outdated now with the outlaw. Keep that in mind. But in the event that you can buy a Sheriff and have enough to buy next round, sometimes you don't buy abilities if that would put you below the threshold in favor of that Sheriff. Hey. Every Cypher main watching right now is crying. You know why? Because I'm putting this in the playbook and you, <laughs> there's no world you're ever going to play this aggressively. So he's starting his eco round here and he immediately walks after holding window for a sec. Knife out, gambling timing. Makes sense. We got the recon. Bet. One HP Viper. <laughs> Before they will do something with it. Right now it's full trash and useless. Yeah, and so now he can't really buy much because of the, the sheriff buy. Utilities this, kinda are too specific, you know. This was the meta. I'm not sure if it still is. Hold yeah, up. you can see this. Cam sees mid. Cypher elbow, careful. It sees the elbow walk up. And let me make that clear. See mid. So he's just playing here. Hold down. Yeah, elbow on his sheriff now. He just likes playing backside with the setup. Cypher close out elbow. Jets out. 
Вайпер волби. А нахуй за то Так, с райт клика не идет, это вообще Но, мне кажется, в миде проблема. У нас проблема, мне кажется, везде. Но могу с next раунда встать, но мне кажется, в миде проблема. Bam. Easy peasy. I wonder how he's gonna play around this. I'm guessing here. Because this spot can peak all of that trip, and he can play like this off angle to fight this way. Not sure. We're at a point of low trips. So a trip like this, I reserve. He plays it up here like a drone for the enemy Sova can hit it on accident. The low trip, the drone will go over. And when your trip is in a weird spot like this, people generally don't shift walk all the way here, find a trip and like jump over it like this. And even if they do, it makes noise at this point. And we're going to be playing near it. So you'll place the trip lower against like drones and whatnot. And sometimes you'll place it higher against dogs. So like, let's say they just have sky. Sometimes you might see Cypher throw a trip like this, where, yeah, you could crouch under it. But the point is the sky dog will walk under it. And the teammate following that sky dog, who's going to be real close to it, running at height like this, will just walk right into the trip. Yeah. Don't sky dog run under it regardless since the patch. Oh, maybe actually. That might be new tech. How about fade dog? I said, oh no. I just know people used to place them high for that. I could be wrong. Interesting. It doesn't pop low ones out. That's sick. How about like raise boom bot and gecko wingman? Yeah, this would go under. So you just throw crouch head, I guess. Cypher elbow. Viper will be. I really hope they scale B here so you can see. Yeah, he's coming over here to play the trip. Okay, okay. I thought about this. So he likes... I was thinking about this versus this. And this angle does make more sense to me. McDonald's. Because if you're... So just imagine this route. They scale up B and they push this way. Like for whatever reason. They scale this way. This is actually a really awkward angle for you here because of uh, this as well. But this angle is actually really chill. This is like a good off angle for you. And you can still peek into your trip. So against really fast B play, where the threat of it comes over here to play off of this trip. Shoop. Oh, that's tough. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Okay. He's gonna cam up here. We'll spot down in the mid. I'm curious if he meant to throw it lower. Because his came lower like this. I don't think this is intentional. It will see a bit more mid. So I'm guessing you want it as high up as you can get it. We'll see though. If there's consistent. I will not put this cam location yet in the playbook. He's aiming in the middle. Here. Middle a bit high. Like that. Interesting. So the first person round, he's really just yeah. trying to deal with this route. Yeah. So the first person who breaks this and whatever dies or whatnot, they might think that this route's now open and he has like another trip for this route. And he's really going to nestle himself in to this position and play off of these trips. He'll never expect the second trip. Yeah, exactly. Like that's his idea. Oh, there's a cage as well. Ooh, he's backing up more than I think. I guess he left time to move over. Play here. Notice how tight he's like spotting. Damn. 
Damn, and then he can just open his cam safely because he's tucked with his second trip. Bad. Wait, that setup's pretty sick. And he's relying on the comfort of this second trip to just tuck in here and open cam. Because he has this second trip, he knows that he can just come over here to open cam and be very aggressive. Maybe he does want it low, man. That's so easy. Cage triggered. That. I wonder how he's going to play this. Because you'd have to play it from like over here in some capacity. So I'm guessing we're positioning more towards like a yellow round. This, we'll see. One way. I think that's $100 to huge. I've never seen anybody throw this. Not saying he invented it, but people don't throw this. And he's just getting this as close as he can. Yeah. It will be breakable if they're really careful, I think. But yeah, from back here. But not much more you can do. And I mean, it's better than just putting it here, right? Yeah, this is a totally new setup. Great. He's almost certainly going to be playing somewhere over here. Maybe even here. This might be a bit exposed. This pushes over there. So could be this area of stairs. We'll see. Let's see what Chihuahua does. He might play pipe. So it's looking like. Let me color code these. This is setup one. Cool. We'll draw the green box in a sec. This is setup two. The boxes indicate they're paired. <laughs> Might be big on guys. Okay, yeah, he's playing the other pyramid. So he's going to play back here. Dude! And then he comes yellow. And then he comes yellow. He's not passive like you scaredy cat cypher players. Shout... Chihuahua's cooler than that. Chihuahua takes his first fight. Might be big gun, guys. And then uses his setup to get the second kill. You know why? Because he is no he's known to play on this side. Last A round, he was here. So this jet is scaling fast off of the doors pick because she anticipates that Cypher is playing back here. So Chihuahua says, oh, well, bet. Then I can take a normal duel against one person because Jet dashed. She's created a gap between her and her own teammates. This is a duel. And Chihuahua is like, just not expecting it to be this fast. I like it. I like it. It's very greedy. And I think you need to be greedy to be really good at the game. Takes this duel. And then he's like, all right, bet. Time to use my setup. So he's aggro on the first fight. Now that is not going to happen every time you play this setup. Keep that in mind. That's why he's starting here. So he can get aggro if he wants. What a beast. And then we go yellow. Yeah. Oh, he comes back. Oh, because it's Cypher ult. Never mind. He's got privileged information. So now these dudes, if they scale A, they're going to expect him in this box. So he's going to play over here now. He's very tricky. Damn, he's going to come over. Dude, look at his willingness to take space. What a beast. I guarantee you, every single diamond cypher player watching is like, eh, I wouldn't die like that. And I'd just like to remind you that this guy is 1100 RR peak. You're the wrong one. Is he over aggressive there? Yeah. But that's way better than being too passive. Man, what a round. Okay. Huh? Nah! I was wondering why he was throwing the, the shitty trip. That's vile. That's vile. It's so the dudes who walk up, break it, and then they start running out. <laughs> You're going to want to put this one. Notice how he doesn't throw it on the edge like this. He throws it further over here. It's because you want them to see it without seeing the other one. They break it and they come out. You don't want to be too close together. You want there to be some distance. He does like that. Oh, yeah. This one I also missed. My bad. My bad. My bad, chat. I'm not a Cypher main, okay? 
Just like there. I can ball up. Hold up. Bro. I don't know if you guys can see this, but he just Kobe'd that cage into the exact spot his cage is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, at <this>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Dead on. <laughs> it's the same spot. Like, that's exactly where the spawn barrier is. Nest, 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 chamber. Nest. I fell. Urgency when it matters, I like that. Yes. Spoilers, my bad. Yep, oh we're the nest lurker. Wins the duel. So I mean it's going to side. Oh, bet. oh, new cam, new cam. Okay. He's very tricky. His setups are always different. So notice he runs the same setup when the enemy doesn't like activate it. So that round we did this giga like five head double trip and the enemy team didn't push into it. So they don't know that, that this is in his arsenal. So he's throwing it again. But notice his cam yeah. has been getting broken now. Like the enemy team's aware of the cam. And so he shifts the cam. He like went to throw it and he's like, actually, uh, no, nah, let's throw it over here. And he throws it here. Uh, yep, this cam, bit worse. Doesn't see his deep mid, but at least it won't get pre-fired from B main. You feel? It's just a mix up. He probably will never start around with this cam, if I had to guess, like the starter game off. I doubt he would throw this first round. This is the type of cam he throws once the enemy team has sort of like gotten a feel for what he likes to do. And they're breaking his cam too early. He So he's moving it. Run away, run away too. Dude, he is so willing to take space. It's making me cry. Why don't you guys do this? Look at the this whole thing is full. Super willing to take aggressive space. Dude. I was about to say, there's no way he's going to throw this cam in autopilot. And sure enough, it, he's actually so understandable. Does it make sense? They haven't seen this cam. He knows they break this one. He caught himself autopiloting to go throw his autopilot cam. And now my money's on double trip. He makes so much sense. Now, if I was a Cypher main and I was watching this VOD, this would raise an annoying question. What do I do if they rush B every round? We'll go, I've got three unique B setups. I've mixed them up. I've used all three. What then? That's probably a question that you're thinking if you're a Cypher main. Right? Answer? Simple. You watch more VODs. Go find the Breeze game where he gets pushed more than three times. It exists. Okay? So that, that's like the next step. I can't answer that question for you because I don't know what this guy would do. Maybe he's got a fourth setup and a fifth. I no. But the moment that question comes to your head, I'm thinking ahead of you. I know a lot of you are thinking that. Like Cypher mains in particular. Uh, Brad used to have this problem. Brad had what I would call off-angle-itis where he felt he needed to have unique and strong off angles to hold every round on defense that were new so the enemy team hadn't seen them before he's like who's what i do they push me eight times in a row i've used all my off angles and i'd be like brad you can answer that question yourself like go watch game do people really care that much anyways you can watch this guy answer questions you have about it because one vod won't answer all the questions you have about a way that he plays I'm not sure. this is giving you a taste of chihuahua That's cypher right now and it's very methodical like the logic behind when he moves his util is very, very clear. When did he move the cam? After they started breaking it before he opened it. So there was a round where they broke his cam without him even opening it, which means they're shooting bullets here without even seeing the cam. Well, time to move the cam. But he didn't move it until then. So he probably has other logical rules around when he moves the rest of his shit. All right, sure. that's 
needs to knife out rotate because the enemy team is never faked this game this game and there's three mid and one elbow he joins chamber damn she broke both the trip i would be i would be You think he throws double trip next round, chat? He's super good, Blade. Yeah, he's, he's... he's being really patient for this right now. It's unlikely that she'll clear this side if she's routing back out towards the yeah, she dies somewhere else. You don't think he does? I actually think he might. Here's my logic. He might not. But I could justify why he would. That round, he wasn't even playing off of it. So they were less pressured to push out. The odds that a solo queue player communicates that setup to our team, not too high. Especially if it's Arena. He might mix it up. Don't get me wrong. I've never studied this guy. It's uh, really comfortable to play. Uh, every player and team is doing But good. I could see him throwing it again. Happy. I'm happy. He makes so much sense, chat. I like this guy. He thinks like me. I would have thrown it again. Yeah, I'll try my best, bro. I will buy Operatress last round. He actually thinks like me. That's so base. It's last round, why not buy an up? If he flashed, bro, we f If he flashed, bro, we f Real! Valorant is a gambling game. This guy knows how to gamble. I'm coming to help you. Watching your window still. Yep. We gotta get moving. Switch to rifle. Ooh. Pushing you. He's so good, dude. Dude. Like, I'm coming to help don't you. Watching tell your me. window still. Uh, I'm calling out the straw man diamond one cypher players in chat. You're all tucking to play behind your util now because your jet's dead. Agreed? Which is exactly why it's so good. For him to push up and play off angle in front of his setup because it's so hard to read it's so hard to read this and you even see that it's like bam this dude's not he doesn't even have his gun out yet Yoink. <laughs> what, a beast. what a beast all right there's defense super willing to take aggressive space is very very Consistent. I was expecting him to autopilot this cam here. Viper, yes. yes. I guess he's going to cam elbow. Oh, because they have Reyna. Yeah, yeah, no. Reyna's always walk elbow. So again, if I was a Cypher, like if I was doing Cypher to Radiant or some shit, and I was studying this VOD off stream, this would be my thought process. Huh. Why isn't he throwing this default cam mid? Oh, they've got Reyna's. Reyna's always walk elbow. But I wouldn't stop there because that might not be correct. He might like this elbow cam more even against one duelist. So I would need to find another VOD. Got it? Because right now it makes sense to me because Reyna's walk elbow. They're going to cam. But that might not be the actual reasoning. And so I'd need to see another VOD. Because I can't figure out his reasoning here. But he's almost certainly going to cam elbow. But Boaster likes elbow cam on B hits. Yeah, but have you checked if it's correlated to enemy Reyna's? Because there she is. She was started the round here to walk elbow. We cammed. She turns around, comes out. Uh, interesting. Backside, backside, back pillar. No, it's a piece of shit. Why are Damn. Low HP, low HP. Damn, enemy sniper's got this set on. And now here's this cam. Okay. So we cammed elbow on pistol. Zoop. More info needed if that's correlated to enemy Reyna. And now we've got this cam, which I'm way more used to seeing. There. So we can play the whole round hunting Reyna on tunnel side. That's one sample. Yeah, exactly. It really did look like he was playing the anti Reyna game that round, right? And that is how I like to call Breeze against Reyna's. I like to call a double yeah. elbow swing. The OD26 play. Well, something like that. Good luck, Cypher players. I'm sure you all can figure out how to throw it consistently. I, I hit it eventually. Ooh. I, I default mid Natasha, I default naked. Mid camera gets broken a lot by Sobos. I wouldn't know, I don't play enough Cypher. It's possible that that's true, and so he's trying it out on their eco round, where they're already expecting to lose, and he's trying to get a read on this Sova, if that makes sense. Because this round's already a loss. What the kind of but it's not Anti uncommon dash. on eco rounds to try and gather some information. Okay. Yeah, his cam did get broken pretty fast.
Okay. So the reason why he's moved his crosshair down, ignore that he's getting peaked far on my perfect freeze frame because he's given Reyna enough time to walk this way. And it's very common for elbow players to walk down this way hold this jump up from an off angle and then peek close. In fact, we even saw us do that on defense. This is one exception to the rule of like always hold far wall, but it's a high level exception. The rain is almost certainly close. And there she is. Close. Don't shoot. Holding cam. Head, you know. Holding cam. Insane strategy. Oh, eh? No, we decided to throw it. Interesting. Probably because yeah, he's scaling yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah. He's scaling alone. He probably doesn't care if it gets broken. He just wants the info that they're aggressing this. He learns his Reyna with the Marshall. Interesting. This is uh, this is really risky. So I would hesitate to recommend this type of play to like somebody who's not radiant. He trusts himself, of course, not to throw his Vandal away. But you got to understand he's playing alone with a, a rifle. So he has to be very careful with how he positions, how he peeks. Can I open one? Oh, well, well up. Well up. Did not very recommend. Close. Wait for oh, hey, they won't expect him. One stairs, one yellow. Wait, 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 wait. Can't jump up. What a beast! Sight, so sight, wiper. Блять, я не знал. Team gap. You want to go big, guys? No, I want to pick yellow. Notice camp timing. I'm pretty sure he's popping it at 134. 135. Right around then. That's when Reyna will be like in this box. If she's super fast timing. So she won't be close enough to be... And there she is, elbow. Peeking more carefully. But she won't be close enough to like instantly round the corner, kill your teammates. You'll be able to warn them. And she won't be far enough back that she can unswing comfortably. He's gonna go stairs. Mine, 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 mine. I believe I've talked about this with this mid to A Viper wall. Mine. How somebody should always be doing this jump up. Mine, mine, mine. Get spot over your position. Hold on. Dude, he's actually like the Kobe Bryant of Cypher Cages. Wow, he's taking his timing. Nah. Nah. Dude, how's he find this? So the moment he kills Jet, he starts routing this way. Notice he's not looking bridge. Do you understand why? Because a lot of you would probably be nervous about bridge. This is why he's so good. Hold on. So first, if we look at this tag, we can see that Cypher, Reyna here, and Jet there. Okay? That's their grouping. The Jet's furthest back. Hold on. He hears like two in this area. And there's no trade attempt made on that jet. Whatever. It means they're definitely both in this area. And so he realizes now he's got time to get under bridge before that guy peeks. Yes, first there's... And he barely gets under. And notice they won't be here. How does he know they won't be there? Because they were both here. They can't get over here without making noise. They literally can't get there on timing. So he's got both of their positions worked out. And so he knows he can just come over here. And that's why this peak was so lazy. Like, you see that peak, how his crosshair was like over here? Because they're not here. They're not here. They can't be here on timing. So then he fixes his crosshair in case, you know, they could be shifting over to peek into him soon. But that's very unlikely. And then bam, we get the audio cue. One dropped. Pressure, pressure. And the only reason he can do this so fast 
And this is exactly what I was trying to teach. What's his face? Um, Notorious Noob. Only reason we can do this so fast is reps. On our mid to A, this guy will route stairs. That's what he does. He routes stairs. He looks for a kill. And notice after he got the kill, he looked for this fight. Didn't get it. Dropped immediately. He knew how to throw this cage. Exactly. Cage, cage up. He knew to, after this kill, he knew to look for this timing because he's done this shit so many times. And that's how we can do this fast enough. Because you have to you have to make the decision instantly to get over here on time. And now he's just better. And notice we're not worried about our back because Cypher literally can't get over there on this timing yet. Just swing. Okay, okay. He's a gambler. He's a gambler. I like him. I like him. I'm a gambler too. So he has enough time to peek to deny. And he's relying on this guy realizing that, getting half and peeking. It's a gamble. Yeah, and it does not work. This type of gamble, I refuse to allow any Sentinel mains in chat to do unless you are as aggressive as this guy. This type of gamble is 50 times stronger when you're the Cypher player who pushes everything. That makes sense because in this guy's head he's playing the clutch against the cypher who literally w keys if i'm diffusing against the world's most passive cypher in this scenario i'm way more likely to stick he does not care this cam gets pre-fired he's kind of probably not good okay do you see how he's peeking here how it's bad you know why? You know why he's not concerned at all about elbow? He's so good. The peak is bad. Like, if this is you playing, you should always daddy peek it. But he knows Reyna's not here. Because the way they're fighting mid. There's like, there's, there's a pattern. The Reyna walks here if she's using her uh, flash for elbow. Additionally, we hear a guy on B rotating this way. Wouldn't they be coming over to join their elbow player? So they're just holding. I think there's a mistake. See, look at his minimap before this peek through the wall. Ooh, he glanced. Oh, no, 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 he sees. He sees Sova and he pre aims here. I guess this is a bad pre aim. Because he did minimap refrag this guy. I was just shocked to see the crosshair this far away from the Sova that we saw in the minimap. One behind. One headshot. Headshot, headshot, headshot. <laughs> He's just really aware. It's like really... It's kind of frustrating, right? He doesn't miss anything. And it's annoying. Because you know that you have a similar amount of info available to you in your games. Like the two footsteps here. So you know it's two. And Jet Bridge was alone. You can push. Like you know that you have this info. But it's so hard to internalize all that. And this guy is so fast. <laughs> Okay, no so this is our first dynamic usage of utility, this attack. And I think we all can understand why he's camming B main. Because uh, Jet's hopping. Wait, no shock me. Hold on, hold on. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll catch, they'll catch. Yeah, his Viper just put the wall up as we're planting. <laughs> and so he's like, oh, bet. I'm going to go play post plant. Oh. You can see he got surprised. <laughs> Sable down. <laughs> Man, he does not care. He just lets that camera get broken. What the f 
Блять, это какой гейм? skilled, idiot. What, you guys ever seen the dash updraft out mid and fight? Play? Yeah, I'll put camera elbow, elbow yeah, and Updraft okay. out mid and fight play. <laughs> I've never seen that shit, dude. Okay, I'm elbow, check it at 135. Well, up? <laughs> Chat peaks mid. Backside. Dead type Wait, I will reveal for your backside, bro. Good. Okay, so he needs to be Wait, wary. One aim mine first. I was about to say that. Go back, baby, have kills. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Unfortunate. No who Oracle. One more pillar. Rondi1, thank you so much for the tier 3. He was right side. You want pro analysis of that jet? Side, but, uh, <laughs> oh no, he was, he was right side. Mm, this is tough. Down. That's a wall down. That's a wall down. Okay, look at this. So he's aware this does happen where somebody flanks and peaks B main. He's aware of the timing he can plant. And now he does. This is cheeky. This is really cheeky. He checks cam, sees nothing. And now. He recognizes they could be right here, okay? Now, what would you do if you were right here and you heard Cam check and you knew Cam checked nothing? Like, it didn't see you. Well, you'd probably swing pretty quickly. And so he holds for that. And then once that timing is gone, he'll go, he'll look here and here. Because he's like, well, I mean, if they just sat there, didn't swing, waited, then sure, they're wall hacking. Whatever. I'll lose the round. He holds. And they're not swinging. They're not there. Oh, sit, 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 yeah. Well up. And now we got Cam. Like, ooh. ooh. Anti-jet technology. Anti-jet technology. This guy's an anti-strider. You see this? No Cam mid because he doesn't want to tell them that he's lurking mid because he knows this jet's an idiot. And she is going to fast flank. Remember, she even flanked with an operator. You remember that chat? I remember that. We're really looking for her. Where's this guy at? My Valorant crashed. Look at this. This dude's tucking. Yup. Yup. What's up, motherfucker? What's up? <laughs> this guy is not happy. Oh, no. I skipped around. <laughs> this Reyna is not happy. Push him Bro, he's so fast. Oh, no wonder he's so fast. I'm watching a 1.5x. I was like, how the fuck is he here? <laughs> I was watching on 1.5x. I think how the hell did he get here that fast? Even I didn't get it. Okay, watch, watch. Uh, I'm going to make a prediction. He's going to play fifth in formation. He's going to avoid making early contact. He's going to cam up, make sure it gets broken. And he's going to play with the team, but behind them and come out late. Reason being, this idiot, this idiot, this idiot knows he likes to play really slow lurk mid. He just got a kill on the slow lurk mid. So he's going to cam up, put that seed of doubt in their minds. They're going to rotate slow because of it. And he won't even be there. Yeah, jet pushed B, jet pushed B. Look. Balls up. Oh, we got spotted. Notice he didn't even use his cages for the guys to come out because he doesn't want to give up his location. But now the jet's seen him. So spamming through a wall is fine. Nice. Like, you get what so I'm saying. Nice. Now he's spotted. Time to cage. No, this is the, he's going to fake tap and he's going to push in front of the... He whiffed. He actually had the play. Oh, that piece gets. He had the right play, the dude. That is so sick, man. And then we go OT. Okay. Everything else is dynamic. Very, very very aggressive mixes in super slow lurk rounds this is exactly what i was talking to zendikar about dude this guy is he's got such dynamic contrast he has these rounds where he's really slow and then these rounds where he's stupid aggressive and it makes it so hard to play against because you can never really tell if he's mid slow lurk or if he's back yellow already <laughs> with the knife out you know thank you for the vod that was chihuahua hey
Wuhujin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier 3 subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.